Kathleen, what exactly is in this package and what are authorities trying to do here? Well, as they said, uh, they are trying to relieve downward pressure on the economy. And the centerpiece, yes, is this $21 billion of tax relief to businesses. That's very important here because it's one of the things that's been a, uh, the, kind of the hallmark of the tax cuts as the fiscal steps that China has taken so far. Here's what we've got. They've got $21 billion in tax rebates to company. Uh, there's $60 billion in yuan on uh, passenger car purchase taxes. Uh, that equals about 0.1% of China's GDP, but it's on top, of course, of about $1.5 trillion in tax cuts they've pa passed uh, so far this year. Uh, another couple of things they're going to do, they're going to double the quota on small and medium-sized business loans so more people can get those. They're going to extend social insurance payments, what we would call social security payments, the amount of time that companies have to pay what they owe to the government. So all those are supposed to provide some relief, and as they said, they're, they are trying to normalize their economy with targeted, forceful, effective steps. This is the uh, China State Council said this. Premier Li Keqiang, of course, is the person who runs that. Again, the, most of this is going to businesses, not households. Some people are saying maybe we should be sending some checks to consumers. A lot of other countries have done that. So far, none of that is in the works. Uh, now, remember, they made $393 billion of tax cuts in March. And at the time, Li Keqiang likened tax cuts to, quote, fertilizer applied directly to the roots of the the economy, a very supply side approach. And like all supply side approaches, the idea here, which Li Keqiang apparently supports, is this if you if you reduce the cost to businesses, if you give them more money, they'll invest it, they'll do something with that. That's going to boost the economy. Other people say, well, you might just end up increasing the debt. So far, China has not said anything about they are going how they're going to fund this tax relief. It's certainly going to make their debt and deficit bigger. Uh, maybe that comes for later, but it's interesting to see. Uh, you know, you got a supply cider in China, and uh, as as the premier, as the key economic advisor in the government's team, this is what's holding sway for now. President Biden, of course, opening the door ajar to removing U.S. tariffs on China. How wide is that opening? We have kind of heard overtures to this effect before. Well, certainly they have been, the, the Biden team has been considering, particularly since inflation picked up so much in the U.S., considering looking at reviewing tariffs, et cetera. But when asked about tariffs, let's listen to what Joe Biden said when he was on his trip to Asia today. I'm talking with the secretary when we get home. I am considering it. We do not impose any of those tariffs. They're imposed by the last administration, and they're under consideration. And, of course, the secretary he's going to talk to is Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen. She is the person who, along with Biden and his team, would figure out what to do next. Uh, and, of course, the thing about rolling back tariffs is it would be great for China. Potentially, the yuan had quite a jump when this news came out uh, overnight in the U.S., uh, late in the day yesterday in Asia. But as long as you have supply chains that are disrupted, as long as you're locking down factories and factories and other manufacturing facilities, any benefit that would accrue to China from this is seen as very limited. However, the hotter inflation gets, the more Biden and his team are being pressured, if not looking for more and more ways to try to reduce inflation. Well, if you remove tariffs, the idea is you would reduce the cost of goods that the United States is buying from China. So it could provide some relief. On the other side of the political coin, Heidi, of course, the November midterm elections are approaching and uh, advisors to the president don't want him to look soft on China, quote unquote, at a time when the margin between Republicans and Democrats going into these midterms looks so slim.